feeling sad or anxious can be overwhelming in today's video i'll tell you three simple things i follow that have helped me a lot with my depression anxiety and stress the first thing that i recommend is something i ask my clients to do all the time it's practicing gratitude get up in the morning and write in your journal about few things you're grateful for it might seem initially that you don't have a lot of things to be grateful for but trust me there will be days where you'll fill pages start simple you're breathing be grateful you're healthy be grateful you slept well the previous night be grateful and slowly build on this list research has shown by consciously practicing gratitude we can train the brain to selectively focus on positive emotions and thoughts thus reducing anxiety and feelings of apprehension by being grateful for the good things in your life you will be able to slowly translate same positive emotions into your thoughts and actions gratitude works like magic The second thing on my list is one of my favorites plant a seed sapling a tree whatever you can and watch it grow It will give you immense feeling of satisfaction and happiness to see new leaf new bud and flower blooming Sometimes the plant which shed leaf get infected might need more water sun or change of soil it helps us understand every plant is different and so are human beings sometimes we forget to take care of ourselves nourish ourselves or simply go out in the sun it's very important to understand what we need in the moment and take baby steps so that we bloom Another magical thing in this entire world are these little ball of furs. It has been proven that pets ease loneliness, relieve stress, depression and anxiety and they give unconditional love which is therapeutic in multiple ways. So go to dog cafe, pet your neighbor's dog once in a while or even better get a dog or pet of your choice. The third important thing that I suggest is to follow people on social media who inspire you and resonate with you people you feel are real and genuine this will help you keep your social media anxiety in check i myself left multiple whatsapp groups unfollowed a lot of people on instagram and fb when i was dealing with depression and anxiety i limited my conversations with people who stressed me out or who have wronged me in the past it's okay to maintain distance until you are able to resolve issues or able to forgive and move on there are ways to help let go where you can practice techniques and restructure your thoughts until you reach that point there's no harm in keeping safe distance so that the relationship remains in a better place also in some cases if the vibes you get from the person are completely toxic then it's okay to let go and have peace in your life If you stay with the person who causes your triggers, try to keep conversations positive and avoid any and all topics that might cause issues. Whatever feelings you can't express, write them down in your journal. Writing your thoughts down will help you express what you avoid saying on face at times. I like to finally end my day by writing about it in a journal. Journaling is extremely powerful when it comes to managing negative emotions and thoughts. It's always a good idea to dump your thoughts into a diary writing things down helps you release the pressure from brain 
and relaxes you instantly. You sleep better and get up fresh in the morning. However, I don't advocate writing daily. It should totally be according to your need and should flow freely. It should not feel forced. These three simple and natural ways have helped me a lot and I'm sure it will help you too. Do try these out and let me know in the comment section if it works for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone in need. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more videos on mental health and wellness, conscious minimalism and personal development. See you soon, take care and stay healthy.